Guys, what's going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is January 12, 2024, and welcome to the Grand Spring News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some urgent information coming out. If you can, please share this video. So we have multiple breaking news I want to share to you guys. Number one, uh, this information is trending right now. A lawsuit has been filed in Illinois. To remove, oh, to remove Mr. Burns from the ballot. Alleging that under the 14th Amendment, Mr. Burns has given aid or comfort to the enemies thereof through his open, sudden policy. Yikes. And we are seeing that right now, guys. We are definitely seeing that right now. Uh, Texas is basically taking over. Texas is uh, deployed their um, National Guards, and uh, they're taking over. They're saying that uh, Mr. Burns is not doing anything. And, uh, again, I mean, you do what you got to do. And, um, you know, when it comes to protecting the sleeping giant, he's not doing that. We are seeing an invasion, if you think about it. So the sleeping giant is under ATT. A C K, and we do have more breaking news updates, guys. Um, breaking news: Chicago or hair airport is shutting down and moving their whole hotel shuttle uh, pickup area so it can be housed for the new people that's coming from the southern. They are also restricting ooh the news access and warn. That the news cannot enter the facility. O'Hare has been using the shuttle area to house many for months. Now there are just too many. I want to show you this one really quick here. Please share the video. <clears throat> well, well, well. Starting February 1st, 2024. This area, it's going to be for the new ones. All right, guys, before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. And for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. All right, guys, I'm hearing, um, well, there's been reports that Missouri is trying to remove Mr. Burns from the ballot. So they're trying to do that, too. So uh, it seems like... Uh, it seems like uh, there's some other states that uh, wants to remove Mr. Burns. But I think Missouri is not going to work. Uh, for some reason, I mean, again, they have all these lawyers and courts and stuff. So it seems like that's not going to work. But when it comes to Texas, or when it comes to um, <clears throat> New York or Chicago, again, these are the states that, is I mean, they really had it up to here with Mr. Burns. <laughs> <laughs> they had it up to here. They uh, they basically, they could remove Mr. Byrne from the ballot. Say, well, he's doing a terrible job. He hasn't been here. He didn't help us out. Uh, he's not doing anything. Give me a second here, guys. What is this? Um. Well, well, well. This is why Texas is uh, putting their foot down on this one. So the city of Chicago is in consultation with with the Chicago Blue Department and the Blue Department of Aviation, the Office of Emergency Management, man, look at all these agencies, and the Department of Family and Support Service is requesting all the news reporting on these new ones arriving at O'Hare International Airport film only in the designated area outside the bus shuttle uh, center. Any... Any NEWS entering the facility may be asked by personnel on site to relocate to a designated area. 
once again the NEWS should park in the main parking garage or the designated area of lot B. The city of Chicago thanks uh, the NEWS for its understanding and compliance as we work together to create a safe and secure environment for new arrivals, the new people waiting for transport uh, from the airport. All right. A lot of stuff is coming out. <clears throat> All right. Once again, let me just read this part. I didn't, I didn't read this one here. Uh, so it says here, hotel and off airport shuttles starting February 1st, 2024. All hotel and off airport parking, parking shuttles uh, pick up in the lower level arrival lanes of Terminal 2. The pickup site is a short walk from baggage claim at Terminal 1 and 3. <clears throat> Alright, so... They're just letting people know that uh, this is going to be uh, the new stuff that is going to... I don't want to show the picture, but it's a lot of them in the airport. They have mattresses on the floor and just these are the new ones. I don't want to show the picture because, again, the platform is really strict, guys. Really strict. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share it right now. Look at that. I'm sharing it right now on Twitter, okay, if you guys want to check out the pictures. Um, so follow me on Twitter. The link to my Twitter page will be in the comments box. Um, okay, so let's go with the... I want to go with this one here really quick and then we have some more breaking news uh about the firing of tomahawk going on i think it's tomahawk they're using again so yesterday there were multiple nations that fired towards uh yemen today the sleeping giant is the only one that is firing towards them all right so a lawsuit has been filed all right so Someone posted this here. Article. Give me a second here. So it says here of Section 4 of our Constitution requires our Gov to protect and defend our Southern. Look at that. If Gov does not, the Constitution by virtue of the named part here in authorizes the free citizens to defend themselves in their state and place of look at that see this is why texas texas is uh is doing their part they have every right under the article i think it's what is it article 10 uh i missed the guys uh but uh yeah they have every single right note in not defending our you know what? The Gov gives aid and comfort to a hostile foreign invasion. And this under Article 3, Section 3 of the our Constitution is properly labeled trees. All right. <clears throat> so uh, this is why Texas is doing their part. And uh, I'm going to keep it updated when it comes to that Texas news. All right, let's uh, let's see what's going on in this one here, guys. If you can, please share the video. Also, um, asking for a prayer request. Um, <clears throat> my sister-in-law, um, her husband. Uh, again, they live in Maine. Uh, he's having a tough time breathing, and they had to go to the emergency room. So uh, he needs a prayer. His name is Scott, and. Um, yeah, it seems like a lot of this stuff is uh, going around. It's going around up north. Uh, so please pray for him. Uh, also, um, need another prayer request for uh, my wife, her aunt, uh, Donna. We already uh, spoke about this, and she was live uh, on this channel about two years ago. She's battling with certain, uh, uh, again, I can't say in this platform, because uh, they, uh, they actually removed my video about it. It, it, it it's just really really sad but please pray for her pray for everyone that's going through tough times all right so and um again uh, pray for me too guys my left knee i don't know what's going on i i i can't bring it up i could bring this one up i can't bring this one up Ugh. wait a minute 
Okay, there we go. Oh, man. It's like, it's so tight. It's like a rubber band. You're trying to... Oh, man. So, I came home from the gym, and uh, it's been like this for like a week. Okay, now now I can feel it. Okay, all right. So, I got I got my knee up there. All right, so just uh, pray for me, guys. I guess I got to stretch. I'm almost uh, 40 years old. Five more months, and I'll turn 40. All right, so it says here, initial reports of renewed strikes by the sleeping giant aircraft on these group position in and around this land capital all right so the sleeping giants are alone on this one they are striking by themselves netherlands australia they're all taking a day off all right so the sleeping giant defense official states that the sleeping giant naval aircraft have carried out additional strikes tonight on these group, uh, on oh man, radar and air defense sites in the capital of, I'm gonna skip that name, an Air Force base as a response to an anti-ship ballistic miss, which was launched against a commercial ship today in the Gulf of Aden. All right, so a ship got impacted today. All right, so they hit the bear ship. <laughs> Man, <clears throat> they hit the bear ship, and uh, you guys already know that uh, Yemen and the bear, they you know good allies, and for some reason, uh, you know they hit the bear ship. It was an accident, but uh, it's not a good way to uh, kind of start after getting hammered by the sleeping giant. All right, so we have more uh, breaking news. And it says here, it seems that uh, the Sleeping Giant is completely done with this group. Oh, I'm sorry about the word there, guys. Any attempted uh, strike on commercial shipping in the Red Hot region or Gulf of Aden now will warrant a military response against Western country of Y-E-M-E-N. All right, so we have uh, more information here. The strike on this land capital will reportedly carry out by the sleeping giant and the sleeping giant alone, without the support of any other lands within the correlation. I guess the sleeping giant is like, take the day off. We got this. And plus, you guys were way back there. You were scared. <laughs> um, give me a second here, guys. Uh, the search and rescue operation by ships and aircraft of the Sleeping Giant Navy are currently ongoing off the coast of Somalia in a red hot region for two Navy sailors who were lost last night, January 11th, under circumstances which are still being kept classified due to operational security. Wow. All right. Okay, give me a second here, guys. So, check this one out. Uh, we're going to jump from that story to this one now. Okay, so let me just zoom it in. Bam, just like that. All right, so... So you have multiple, I mean, it, guys, it seems like there are multiple uh, states that are willing to remove Mr. Burns. Uh, but uh, it's, again, it's not that easy. It's not. Um, look, at the very end, I believe that uh, the one that gets to remove either one of them is the Sleeping Giant, our V-O-T-E. That's... Uh, you know, we decide uh, who stay, who goes. And I think uh, at this point, uh, just let the four or five and let Mr. Byrne go at it one on one. Uh, I tell you what, guys, if this thing was a fair, 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 fair game. I'm sorry, but Mr. Byrne only going to get like two million votes. <laughs> so, uh, again, like, uh, yeah, he's not going to get uh, barely nothing compared to the four or five. All right, give me a second here, guys. 
Ooh, what is this? Hold on. What is it? What? Uh, Mr. Burns allegedly failed to use an Illinois notary, which goes against Illinois elects law and makes Mr. Burns ineligible to be on the ooh, ballot, according to former congressional candidate. See, okay, so are they working on this one here, guys? They're really working on this one here. Interesting. Okay. Um, let me just share this one here. But like I said, guys, I again, it's not going to be that easy, though. It's not going to be that easy. Um, so uh, give me a second here, guys. I'm going to have to save this uh, this one here really quick. Um, it seems like this is all the breaking news, but guys, I just want to bring something up really quick. Please prepare yourself spiritually, physically, and mentally. Oh, look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Look at this. Texas. Big shout out to, uh, Jacob Israel. Um, look at that. The Texas National Guard. Oh, okay. Uh. It was not necessary for that uh, that middle, you know, what finger, um, and I got the uh, the green shirt on. Represent the uh, the military army, but uh, again, guys, uh, continue to pray. Uh, there is multiple states of emergency declared. New York is one of them. They declared and activated national guard for the storm. Please make sure you are prep. Please make sure you have candles. Uh, make sure your phone is fully charged. Uh, don't wait to the very last minute. Uh, they're saying that uh, it could happen somewhere this weekend. So, again, stay warm and uh, continue to pray in these tough times A real living. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to end this uh, video. It's going to be my final one tonight. I'm not going to go live tonight. Uh, I'm just going to lay down. My knee is hurting. And uh, I think I might have to get x ray because uh, it just feels kind of weird. Uh, so I, again, guys, I do work out, but, uh, I don't know. This one here is kind of weird. Uh, you know, when I get inside a car, I got to pick up my leg and go inside a car and everything. It's just really tight. And, uh, and the pain is, you know, one to 10, I give it like maybe a six, but, uh, yeah, just pray for me, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I post the videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.